Hi, my name is Mario Viviani, and I'm Technology Evangelist at Amazon Digital Apps and Game Services. Today, we'll talk about how you can recommend your app content on Amazon Fire TV. Amazon Fire TV provides a content forward interface. A lot of the Amazon Fire TV interface is dedicated to highlighting individual pieces of content. But how can developers leverage the Fire TV UI and provide content in order to drive more discovery and engagement? One of the best ways to do this is by having your app provide recommendations of the in-app content. These recommendations generated directly on device by your app will be made available through a dedicated row called Recommended by your apps. Now let's see how you can build in-app content recommendations. The architecture of apps is quite simple. Your app will expose recommendations in form of standard Android reach notifications. These are similar to classic notifications, but will have some extra tags that the FireOS recommendations engine will be able to detect as app recommendations. It will then proceed aggregating these recommendations into the recommended by your apps row. Here's the main components of the in-app recommendations. First, there's the title of the content, followed by description and app provider. Then there is a thumbnail image of the content, and finally an action, which can be performed via contextual option menu. All this information are provided, as we will see in a minute, as part of the rich notification that builds the recommendation. Speaking of actions, there are multiple options that can be selected, depending on what you would like to provide. Watch, resume, switch profile, change setting, view, play, listen, and open. There are a few requirements for the recommendation row to appear. First of all, there needs to be at least five recommendations in total sent from all apps. So it is good practice to provide at least five recommendations from your app. Secondly, the user can't have any viewing restrictions set under settings, preferences, parental controls. In regards to what to recommend, the suggestion is to think of what is the best content for the customer to consume. Ideally, it will be new episodes for a show that the wa user watched earlier, similar shows related to the user viewing history, and content with similar tags as other shows that the user has watched. Now let's see how to implement the content recommendation inside our app. The first step is setting up the Android recommendation library setup. Since recommendation uses standard Android tools, we just need to add the super library to our project's Gradle dependencies. Now, let's see how we can build the rich notifications that will generate our recommendations. The first step is build a notification manager. It will be used to push the rich notification to the OS. We then need an ID for the notification, which we will use to uniquely identify it. This is very useful, in particular to retrieve specific recommendations and update them in the future, or deleting them if we don't need them anymore. Then we create a content recommendation variable, which will contain some of the base information we will use to build the notification, like the bitmap that we want to use as thumbnails, the title and the description of the movie or the show, and so on. We then build a new notification using the content recommendation method getNotificationObject. The next step is to add Amazon enhancements to the rich notification. These Amazon enhancements add additional information that the recommendation engine on Amazon Fire TV will use to build the recommendation. This includes things, for example, as the maturity rating, a longer description to be used on Fire TV, or the release date of the content. There are many enhancements that can be added, and you can check out the recommendation documentation to find out more about those. The final step is to invoke the method notify of the notification manager to publish our notification. Now let's see how you can test your recommendations. In order to do this, we first need to activate the developer tools menu. 
Just take the Amazon remote control and on the directional pad, press and hold the center and down buttons together for five seconds. Then press the remote menu button. A dialog will open called Developer Tools menu. There, you just need to turn on Developer Options and Developer Row. When you do this, a new window will open asking to select a package name. Please select Share Recommendations Developer Row. In order to visualize the recommendation testing row, we have to take a few steps. Restart your Amazon Fire TV by going to Settings, Device, Restart. Open your app and stream content for several minutes. After about five minutes, go back to the home screen. The row called Recommendation Testing Row will appear. This is what the recommendation testing row looks like. Then you can go on and test the functionalities of your recommendations. Now let's see a few recommendation best practices. Personalize the notification to the user. Make sure that the content that you're showcasing to the user is tailored to what the user has been doing on your app. Delete stale cards. Make sure that if the user has been consuming a specific piece of content, you do not recommend the same content again. Do not exceed the notification limit. On Android, there is a limitation of 50 notifications per app. Keep in mind that notifications and recommendations use the same engine. Limit the number of recommendations shown at one time. You don't want to overwhelm the user with too many recommendations. And finally, make sure to send recommendation as a background app. There are many strategies that you can use there. Consider sending a recommendation using an alarm manager at repeating intervals. The repeating intervals can then be expired using an Android job schedule or sync adapter task. To find out more about recommendations, please visit the recommendations overview on our Amazon developer portal following the links below. Hopefully, now you know everything that you need to know to build recommendations effectively. Thank you very much for listening and happy development on Amazon Fire TV.